with limited things to do because of the pandemic. Relief from the heat may be hard to come by. Fox 2 meteorologist Bridget Mahoney live at Union Station where people are trying to stay cool. Yeah, and there's actually been quite a few people out here. And you know, Glenn, when we talk about tornado warnings as well as severe thunderstorm warnings, people listen and they react to help protect themselves from their, those dangers. But all the times when we talk about heat advisories, a lot of people just really ignore that. But what's important for people to understand is weather like this can still be dangerous. The sounds of summer. But with summer comes heat and humidity taking over. And it is cloudy, 92, feels like 100 downtown at the Arch. And with sweet treats like SpongeBob melting in minutes, it may mean it's time to get inside or at least stay in the shade. Basically, when I walk around Forest Park, we're trying to stick to the shadiest places. And anytime you walk near the water, oh my gosh, it's so much cooler. And you may be thinking it's St. Louis. We can handle the heat, but it's important to remember heat is the number one weather related killer. It kills more people than tornadoes and lightning combined. I'm a mama for I like to go, go, go. So I just try to make sure they stay hydrated no matter what we do. At Union Station, the aquarium, St. Louis Wheel and Soda Fountain are all open for business with restrictions in place. Oh, it's inside. nice. It's cool inside much cooler than outside. Other places like the Magic House and City Museum have also opened their doors and the zoo opening their doors last month, welcoming visitors amid the heat. But for this group of docents from the St. Louis Zoo who are no longer able to volunteer during the pandemic, they still meet every Wednesday in Forest Park. It would be nice if it was about 10 degrees cooler, but we're here. So no, it, I guess it doesn't bother us. And if you must get outside, remember a few basic tips. Dress in light colored clothing, take breaks and drink plenty of wa water. Also remember the signs of exhaustion. That's muscle cramps, dizziness and feeling lightheaded. Also, I want to do a little demonstration here. Our car has been sitting here for I would say maybe five minutes and you can see the reading already inside the car 111. So make sure you're uh, not leaving, of course, any pets, any children in the car even for just five minutes time when you run into the store. That's very important to remember each and every year. Reporting live in St. Louis, meteorologist Bridget Mahoney, Fox 2 News.